Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Being Boss, a creation by Kathleen Shannon and Emily Thompson. Being Boss, 2018, is a comprehensive guide designed specifically for ambitious creatives who aspire to create thriving businesses. The book offers valuable insights on developing the right mindset, setting clear boundaries, defining goals, and finding a healthy work-life balance. Being Boss provides practical strategies that empower individuals to achieve success in both their professional and personal lives. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Kathleen Shannon and Emily Thompson are businesswomen with impressive backgrounds. Kathleen is a co-owner of a branding agency, while Emily is the creative founder of a successful retail company. Together, they have created a supportive community, a dynamic platform, and an engaging podcast that empower creative entrepreneurs in achieving financial success. Their expertise and efforts have gained recognition from reputable publications such as Entrepreneur, Forbes, and Marie Claire. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, discover the power to live life on your terms and maximize your potential by learning effective decision-making skills. Embrace the opportunity to take control and reap the rewards that life has to offer. In this book, you'll find practical guidance on how to become your own boss and create a successful business. The blinks cover various topics, including the foundations of being a boss, lessons from a garden, and strategies to attract potential clients. Whether you're just starting out or looking to improve your existing business, these blinks will provide valuable insights and tips to help you on your entrepreneurial journey. Key idea number one. Being a boss requires a deliberate approach, unwavering dedication, and confidence in the journey. According to Gallup, only 30% of American employees are engaged and happy in their jobs, which is why many people want to start their own businesses. Transitioning from being an employee to being your own boss comes with challenges, such as creating a business plan and finding balance with personal life. However, it is not impossible to build a successful business and live a fulfilling life. This book advocates for being boss, which involves intentionally creating the life you want inside and outside of work. It requires commitment, trust in the process, and hard work. By enjoying and trusting the process, you can make necessary changes and achieve your goals. The foundations of being boss, which the book explores, are essential for working for yourself and living a fulfilling life. Key idea number two. The boss mindset is defined by a strong set of values, unwavering confidence and a positive outlook. Meet Marianne and Troy, two aspiring entrepreneurs with dreams of starting their own design businesses. While both unsure about taking the leap, Marianne faces the uncertainty head-on, while Troy lets it defeat him. What sets Marianne apart is her boss mindset, a combination of values, confidence, and positivity crucial for success in entrepreneurship. The mindset starts with defining your values, those guiding principles that drive decision-making. Identify your values by reflecting on moments of happiness and fulfillment, grouping similar ones together, and narrowing down to five to ten core values. Overcoming imposter syndrome, that feeling of inadequacy, is also key. Build your confidence by focusing on your positive qualities and skills and repeating affirmations to yourself. Cultivating positivity is crucial, as complaining and dwelling on negativity hampers productivity and personal well-being. Practice meditation to become aware of your thoughts and foster a more positive outlook. Additionally, take time to appreciate the good in life. Key idea number three, ensure the safeguarding of your interests and resources by setting forth well-defined boundaries. The key message is to protect your interests and resources by establishing clear boundaries. Just like a fence protects a garden, boundaries protect your valuable time, energy, and resources. 
by clearly defining your priorities and creating tangible boundaries in your work and personal life, you can focus on what truly matters and avoid stress and burnout. Remember to communicate your boundaries to others and be disciplined about respecting them yourself. Key idea number four, establishing healthy habits and routines plays a crucial role in achieving success. In this scenario, Michael and Natalie run similar businesses, but Michael's disciplined habits and routines allow him to be more productive and successful. Creating healthy habits and routines is crucial for efficiency and goal achievement. Establishing a morning routine that suits your needs and promotes positivity is key. Forming habits that support your physical and mental well-being, such as maintaining a healthy diet and getting enough sleep, is essential for running a business effectively. Lastly, setting regular, specific and rewarding goals helps drive motivation and provides a clear path to success. Key idea number five, to maximize your business's potential, it is essential to invest time and effort. To get the most out of your business, you need to put in the work. Just like tending to a garden, you can't simply wait for results. Start by creating a simple business plan, outlining your purpose, product services and financial goals. Consider your role and whether outsourcing is necessary. Additionally, envision how you want to feel while building your business. Next, build a network of potential clients and partners. Reach out and cultivate these relationships just as you would care for your garden. To grab attention, regularly produce high quality content that showcases your expertise. This can be newsletters, blogs, social media posts or a podcast. Consistent content will help build a strong reputation and attract people to your business. Key idea number six. Your personal life deserves the same attention and dedication as your professional endeavors. Being boss means more than just working hard to build a successful business. It's about embracing the freedom that comes with it and living a fulfilling life. To do this, you need to deliberately pursue your personal goals and desires Create a clear vision of what you want in life and make a bucket list of specific things you want to achieve. Plan ahead for time away from your business to pursue these goals, notifying clients and setting up automated responses. Alongside this, surround yourself with supportive and inspiring people who add meaning to your life. Join clubs or social groups and connect with like-minded individuals. By hustling at life as much as you do at work, you can experience true fulfillment. In conclusion, to become a successful boss, it is important to understand your personal values and develop confidence. Creating clear boundaries, establishing healthy routines and adopting productive habits are also essential. A simple business plan, sharing your expertise strategically and making time for your interests will contribute to a thriving business and a fulfilling life. An actionable tip is to find a best friend who shares similar ambitions and is also starting their own business. Regularly meet with this person to discuss goals, ideas, challenges and successes, considering them as your best friend in the business world. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.